We are making the all time, one of my favorite ever recipes for Easter. It's the one that we like. If we didn't have it, it would be really hard to feel like Easter, which is sad. Probably deviled eggs too. But this one is Paula Deen's banana pudding. You need some chessman cookies, some Nestle, well, any type of sweetened condensed milk, some Cool Whip, or I'd be using all generic. So some brand of stuff, some bananas, and pudding mix. Now, the recipe originally calls for um, French vanilla. I can never find French vanilla, so I just use the regular stuff. Okay, then you need a pan about this size. Are y'all ready to start making this for me? It's gonna be so good. Also, we will put a comment down there for all, a link to my entire Easter menu plan. Um, it's what we're making mostly this weekend, except the ham. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do about the ham because I have not quite found a ham yet. But I'm trusting that if worst case comes to worst, we'll be eating I don't know, we'll be eating, what kind of ham will we eat? I guess we could eat sliced deli meat if we have to. We do have some of that. To make this recipe though, you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna take chessman cookies. Now, you can totally, if you're in a frugal place in your life, back when I was very frugal, I would never have slurged on these. They do go on sale at Kroger in a good mega sale about once a month. So if you're a Kroger shopper or have a Kroger affiliate store, you can do that. I'm kind of silly, y'all. I really like when they have the spring ones. These aren't the spring ones. Um, but you could definitely use plain old vanilla wafers as well. This just kind of makes it like the hallelujah of all cookies, of all desserts. So you lay these on the bottom and I lay them bottom side down because I like the flavor of the buttery texture on the bottom of my tongue. So I know that's weird, but that's what I do. You can do it however you like it. Um, if you're lucky enough to find the spring ones, they're even more fun. And it should come out to about four by five, maybe four by six. I probably should use the other pan, but I like a pretty white dish for Easter. So I don't like to use my plain old boring ugly one. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're gonna add some bananas and we're just gonna slice up the bananas. Super simple. And I would use, I don't know, I would say, I'd probably use four to five bananas. And I probably should have sliced them ahead of time so that y'all didn't have to sit here and watch as I sliced, but I didn't get that far. As you're on, tell me what are you making today? Also, if you would hit the share button, hit that share this button and let somebody know that you are joining us today. I am so glad you're here. I will fix my messy bananas here at the end. It said the recipe calls for six to eight. I'm pretty happy with three to four right now, especially because I feel like we are trying to salvage bananas because at my house, bananas are a hot commodity right now. I'm sure that will, that's the biggest produce that everybody's wanting at our house. Um, of course, everybody's eating at the bananas and the apples and goodness, I'm glad they eat all the produce, but it goes so stinking fast, but the bananas go really fast. So I'm gonna do, this is three. I think that's plenty for this recipe. Okay, so we've got our bananas. Now, I'm gonna tidy up the bottom where I made a mess. This one, there we go. That's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, y'all, I normally would use my regular pan, which maybe is what I should use because it is a little messy down there. But we're good, I'm gonna rinse my hands off real fast. Okay, now we get into the fun part. This is where we're gonna mix all the goodness. We're gonna mix together our milk and French vanilla pudding works. I'm actually using um, regular pudding. You can tell this is just the Kroger brand. I go for cheap because cheap is the best thing ever. And you're just gonna mix this in with two cups of milk and we will pin a comment where you can snag all of our menu plans all together. Um, for all of the Easter, it's totally free. You can get all the free Easter menu plan. It's so fun. Okay, so I'm just mixing this up real well. So that's two cups of milk and a five ounce package of vanilla pudding. Okay, that's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to, I'm gonna use my KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, I'm gonna see if I can scooch y'all down here. Can you see my KitchenAid? 
There we go. If you don't have a KitchenAid, um, you can do this with just any type of mixer. I just am using my KitchenAid because it's easy this morning. Y'all hit that um, S-H-A-R-E button. I feel like it's the bad word on Facebook because if you say it, sometimes people will, Facebook doesn't like it. We're gonna go ahead and turn on. I've got eight ounces of cream cheese. I am using low fat cream cheese. Um, I'm using the Kroger brand, so you can always use Kroger brand. I will tell you that my KitchenAid desperately needs a tweaking. I was thinking I need to Google how to get this it set up a little bit higher um, so it sits real low. Um, then I'm gonna add in, this is the magic, y'all, right here. Right here is the magic, hang on. It is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Hang on, can y'all see that? Can y'all see it's sweetened condensed milk? Okay, and it's real messy. We're gonna add that all in there. And we're gonna mix that with the cream cheese. And I really do wanna get every bit because it's just the yummiest. a 12 ounce container of Cool Whip topping. Again, I'm using the Kroger brand. You wanna just stir this in, you don't wanna just dump it in. Um, you don't wanna go quite as, have, as fast with the sweetened condensed milk and the cream cheese. I really did hurry, but this one I slow down. Now I've got an eight ounce, two eight ounce containers, so I'm gonna use all of one and about half of another. Make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature, otherwise it's just a hassle to deal with. So that will make your life a little easier. So I'm just really gonna fold this in. I'm not even gonna put it on a very high temperature, high temperature, high speed. I'm just gonna kind of fold it in there. And then next I'm adding my pudding mixture. scoot this down and I'm gonna give it because like I said my KitchenAid is in kind of neat it doesn't get the stuff on the bottom hopefully your KitchenAid does better I've just had it forever and I haven't changed the settings on it so I'm gonna mix this around one more time to give it a good make sure it's all completely mixed well okay so now we're gonna take it down scoot it out this is the best part ever which if y'all weren't here I would totally probably lick but I feel kind of embarrassed to do that in front of people so I might just save it for later here we go okay so there's my mixture can y'all see it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right over here to my there we go my bananas and my pudding mess and I'm gonna pour this right on top y'all let me know if you can see this and you know can see what I'm doing pretty well you do not even understand how much happiness this brings in my family we fight over this recipe like this is the one that I feel like everybody I don't I hope it makes it to Easter morning it actually has to make it to Easter morning because I have one kiddo who bless her heart she has given up all sweets for Lent. So she has not, in any of this coronavirus craziness, eaten any sugar. And so she said to me, she was like, Mom, if you make that today, will it last till Easter? So I think we may actually not even let ourselves into it so that she can have it um, because she has been so good. Okay, y'all, how 
How beautiful is that? That is a beautiful, happy recipe right there. Okay, now we're gonna hop off and we're gonna do, let me see, can y'all see it pretty well? I know y'all are gonna holler at me for being on the edge of the counter, so I'm gonna scoot this in just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the rest of my chessman cookies which are the best. And if you're lucky enough to find the spring ones, you are like the happiest person. I will tell you, I have a secret confession to make. Amazon Fresh is the only place that I can find delivering in our area. So I actually had these delivered by Amazon Fresh. My OCD doesn't like to have them all. I like them all being different. So I don't want the same matchy guys to be next to each other. Um, but Amazon Live Fresh delivered this to me at my house this morning at 6 a.m. I was so happy because I didn't have a few of the ingredients and I, my family would have been so sad. The prices are not as good as if you go to the grocery store, but they're not terrible and they're all from Whole Foods. So I was pretty pleased with myself this morning. Okay, here it is, y'all. Best banana pudding you will ever put in your mouth. I promise you will never go back to doing it any other way. It is the best and if you're lucky oh no that last one is matching hang on that means i have to eat that one i'm gonna save this y'all right there goodness right there totally my breakfast this morning there we go i'm gonna answer any quick questions y'all have and then i will let you guys pop off i hope that you are having an amazing day i know this has been the weirdest season and we are all sick and tired of it but I hope you're doing something super fun. Let me hop on and checking out any questions that I can see real fast. Great idea, you've used the cheesecake flavor pudding. Um, ooh, and you strawberries, I love that idea to add strawberries in. Can you have your dessert and, uh, no, Cade. Um, these would great be great for a party in individual size containers. I love that idea. You'd have to use strawberries versus bananas as you can't eat bananas. Um, yummy, you can see fine. Where can we find a KitchenAid that cheaply? This KitchenAid will go on sale for sure for Mother's Day. I Mine is from Kohl's, so if you're looking for a great deal on a KitchenAid, um, Mother's Day at Kohl's is the best next deal I think we'll see. So, and they should offer crazy deals because they're trying to sell stuff I think right now. So you should get a really good deal. It's a, thank you, Sherry, it was super yummy. Um, okay, you guys, we will give you the menu plan and everything you need. Make this, it is so good. You're gonna absolutely love it. So yummy. Someone says, good morning, you can't wait to get power back. Oh, Canswell, you're without power. We were th without Wi-Fi a couple days ago. I can't even imagine being with without power. I can't even imagine. Um, can whip on edge. I'm sure there's probably whipping on everything. It's a mess. It keeps super well overnight, yeah. So this, I can actually make this today and then we'll eat it on Sunday. I don't know if we'll eat it Sunday. It can, it, it, can, it can totally, it just gets better. It needs to refrigerate for about six to eight hours. So you guys have an amazing day. Click the link in the video for, oh, for the free menu plan. I didn't even show it to you. I was so busy chatting. Okay, so click the link in the video for the free menu plan, which is totally free. It's everything we're gonna make for um, Easter dinner, except the ham, because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the ham, but we'll see. Y'all have an amazing day, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys.